No! Moi! It's joining and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for coming to my channel and checking out this video. And if you want to like and subscribe before you even see the video, before you even know what I'm about, then you must be crazy. You haven't even, you don't even know what the video is, but you might already know who I am. And you're just so confident that this video is an absolute banger because every other one of my videos is a banger that you've given it a like, in which case, Uh, but for everyone else, I hope this video convinces you to give this video a like. And maybe, and maybe a little subscribe to my channel. This today, on this today, we are looking at the little video called I Am The Smartest Kid In The Dumbest Family. And here we have, uh, Call Me Mr. Box. Uh, presumably that's because he's dumb. He's like, oh, I'm a box. Because there's a box on my head. I think that's a fair enough connection to make. But let's just get into the story. These are usually pretty silly stories. And it's a little bit fun to laugh at them. Hi. I'm Victoria from Slovakia, and this is the story of how my dumb family could never stand that I was smarter than all of them, and they did everything they could to ruin my life. But before I can- Oh! Okay, you got a bad family? My story animated! You wouldn't do that. You- That's so uncharacteristic of you, to tell a story about someone <laughs> with a touchy family. Continue, click like and subscribe. It all started when I was a baby. I oh, click like and subscribe? Oh, click like and subscribe, but listen, they haven't watched the video yet. So, you know, I'm a better person than you because I said that they don't have to until the end. <laughs> that makes me morally better. <laughs> it, it, it all started when I was born. <laughs> Brother, Mark. And even though I came into the world five minutes after he did, I was always miles ahead of him. By the time he'd learned oh. to roll over, I was crawling everywhere. He was oh, dang. just making spit bubbles when I spoke my first words. But Dumb bro. Dumb bro. <laughs> my brother out there making spit bubbles while I'm out there saying words like dumb and bro. Some reason, mom and dad were so proud of everything he did, and I just seemed to get on their nerves. Once Absolute classic. More... Absolute classic. My story animated mom and dad. They're, they're sitting around putting favorite t shirts on the brother when we're out here reading calculus. You know? We're, we're a baby. And I spoke my first words. But for some reason, mom and dad were so proud of everything Waiting for the image. he did. And Reading calculus. Whoa. She's so, she's so amazed by it. It's so interesting. Never in my life, never in my whole, at least a couple years, maybe less, have I ever read something so interesting as calculus. I just seemed to get on their nerves. Once when we were playing with our toys, Mark picked up a mini train excitedly. Look, Dada, it's a choo-choo. It <laughs> Yeah, good, good stuff. That's real, that's real good. I love that you showed me a choo-choo. That's really interesting. You, daughter, get better. What are you doing all this calculus and stuff? That's really, really boring. Start showing me choo-choos. It's not a choo-choo, Mark. It's a train. Oh, be quiet. He's so cute when he talks like that. I don't- Yeah, you'd know it all. I don't know why you speak like an annoying teenager already. On our fourth birthday, <laughs> I only got stupid dolls. Well, my brother got a super cool toy airplane. He just ripped the box open and started pushing the buttons like a maniac. No, oh, I'm just confused. You've said one thing and you're showing me another. He got a cool toy plane and he's just pressing the buttons on the PS5 controller. For the plane? I picked up the manual and read the instructions. I felt fascinated by how it worked. Here, Mark, let me give it a try. No, you leave it to the boys. Even my dad- <laughs> It's remote control. It's radio. This here is a new fan-bangled radio plane. And you know what radio stands for? Not girls. That's for sure. I can't tell you, but it's not girls. Girls can't- Girls can't play with radio toys. Not a chance. Not on my watch. Go back to your reading your, your boring calculus books. Those are for girls. Couldn't get it to work. This is garbage. And with that, he tossed it aside. I quietly picked up the airplane, and a few seconds later, everyone looked up in shock as it zoomed over their heads. Remote control airplane in the house? I reckon you get like one meter before it flies into a wall. I don't know if I've ever seen a remote control airplane work inside a house. Like maybe sometimes a helicopter, more often maybe a tiny little drone or something, I could imagine that. Airplanes, they kind of rely on movement to work, and unless you got a really big house, I don't know about that. I'm starting to think that maybe this story isn't true. Started to cry, and dad snatched the remote control from me and told me to teach my bratty brother. But after I did, he would never let me have a turn. I would just sneak into his room at night and take it whenever I wanted. Once when we were in the fourth grade, 
my brother and I were playing Scrabble and my parents joined in. What I thought would be a fun family game night turned out to be a nightmare. Your first problem was thinking family game night wasn't gonna be a nightmare. I'm kidding. I have a lot of fun playing family games with my family. If family, if you're watching, I enjoy it. I'm just making a general kind of joke that someone would make about a family game night. I imagine, I imagine that's a, co that's a common thing for families to get torn apart by family game night. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. All my family game nights have been fantastic. Now it sounds sarcastic. It's not. I'm sorry. I, no, I, I'm not sorry. I have nothing to be sorry about. I enjoy my family game nights, family, and I'm not being sarcastic. Four points for Sphinx. That's not even a word. You're just making stuff up. No, I'm not. It's an imaginary creature. <laughs> Sphinx? <laughs> Definitely not a word. Definitely not a word. I've never heard of it. I certainly haven't. And I don't think it would be spelled like that. Sphinx. <laughs> That's silly. That is a that is a really silly word. <laughs> You're so funny. Hey, son, you want to go play with that RC car? Remote. Uh, plane. The plane. Not real. Ha, I knew it. Cheater. Just because you don't know something doesn't mean it's not true. Suddenly, dad lost his temper and knocked the board just like Spanish. I don't know Spanish, but I could admit it's probably true. Table. You think you're smarter than all of us, huh? I never said that, but maybe I read more books than you guys. <laughs> I never said that. I just sort of implied it. So that's the problem. Well, here's an easy solution. No more books for you. To my horror, he marched straight up to my room, took away all my books, and put them in his safe. If this will solve the problem. If they thought that was going to stop me from reading, they were so wrong. I'd sneak books into my school bag from the library and read them at night when Dude, that's so rebellious. everyone was asleep. When I was in the 10th grade, I was going upstairs one day when a book fell out of my bag. Before I could pick it up, Mark was already flipping through the pages. He was already flipping through the pages and he was like, dude, you're only reading this now? <laughs> Mom! Dad, look what Victoria has. And seconds later, I- A book. A book? A book? Hey, I think she's got a book. What did I tell you? No nerds in this family. I am not going to father a nerd. How many times do I have to tell you? Stop reading these, these books. I had my parents breathing down my neck. Why are you reading this book? What does it have to do with you? I just really like reading about machines and how they work. I even fixed the kitchen clock that hasn't been working since forever. <laughs> what? Machines? I don't know about that. That was you? Why didn't you tell me, idiot? I've been terrified thinking it's some ghost messing with the time. I didn't send you to school to be some mechanic. And this kind of stuff is for boys. And with that- Ain't that the truth? Now ain't that the truth? A woman? Robotics? No. Robotics is inherently gendered. Think about every robot you've ever you've ever known. It's a it's a man, isn't it? Ro robots manly. Robots are man's man. man. Robot is man. He ripped the book in half. Dad, oh, that's a dad. library book. Oh! No wonder he's been speaking so much about manly. This guy's this guy's insanely manly. This is this is glad that I mean, look, I'm not one for gender stereotypes. But if I have to make a list of things that I would call pretty manly, tearing an engineering and robotics book in half? <laughs> that is pretty manly. <laughs> book. Well, oops. And you better come and watch TV with us. You have to start acting like you're part of this family. They forced me to watch dumb shows with them all evening, when all I wanted to do was go work on my secret project. You see, about a month ago... Oh, this is a villain backstory. She's becoming a super villain. ...entered the science fair, and I'd been secretly working on an amazing robot arm. On the day of the fair, I woke up extra early, snuck out of the house with my project, and put it in my locker. All you people keep saying Matilda, and I don't know... And I don't... And I don't know who she is. What is it... It's... When the science teacher called me to set up my table at the fair, I couldn't help grinning at Mark's surprised face. As the judges and other students- The Roald Dahl book? Oh, okay. I've- I've read other Roald Dahl books. Never seen it. It's a movie as well. Oh, yeah, you weren't gonna convince me with this DVD cover. Like, growing up, if I'm walking around, like, Civic, Video Easy or something, Blockbuster, and I'm trying to pick out what rental to watch, I'm not picking this one. Like, it, it's- it's not catching me. But yeah, no, 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 I know I never watched it. Danny DeVito's in it? Well, now we're talking. The movie is better than the cover? What? I thought the saying always goes, judge the movie by the cover. ...around my table, I announced, this solar-powered robot arm can play catch with you, 
chop up vegetables, and even write with a pen. Ex you can't tell me Matilda made a solar-powered robot arm that cut up vegetables. You can't tell me that was in the 1996 hit film Matilda. Exhibit A. Everyone gasped as the arm started chopping up carrots at warp speed. And then suddenly, something went very, very wrong. The arm Stabbed started a man. some strange sputtering noises. Uh. And the next thing I knew, it flung the knife towards the oh, crowd, it did. missing one of the chunks oh. by an inch. As the oh. crowd started to... <laughs> It's gonna do it again. It doesn't have a knife, but it must do it again. Ah, oh, classic. Scatter. I burst into tears. I couldn't understand how this had happened until I spotted Mark's ugly face. Oh my goodness. What happened to his nose? What did he do to his nose? He's smiling in the crowd. Of course he tampered with it. I didn't win anything. And to make things worse, I was called into the principal's office. I gulped when I walked in. Classic tamper situ. It's always a tamper situ. Is it? What's with this guy's tie? Is he wearing like a, a stick on tie? Is he wearing a colored like t-shirt? Like a colored no button t-shirt with a stick on tie? To see the judge who almost got hurt. But he actually smiled at me. Victoria, we obviously couldn't give you a prize because your robot failed. But, but we do work very closely with the US Navy. And we are interested in your weapons specialties still very impressed and your teachers speak very highly of you would you like to join the program for gifted kids at my college college i couldn't believe it why don't you college? spend a day on campus? me bring your parents along i agreed to the college tour immediately bring your parents along oh yeah, yeah no i'll come but uh, no, you see, my parents, they're not into the old me being educated thing. They want me to stay home and watch uh, Big Bang Theory with them, ironically enough. Foolish enough to think that for once, my parents might be proud of me. As I went downstairs that evening to talk to them, I was met with roars of laughter. You should have seen it, guys. It was so funny when the arm went haywire. She almost hit someone. She almost killed a man. <laughs> You should have been there. A man almost died because I tampered with their thing there. But <laughs> Whew, the knife went, whoa, straight past the jugular. Absolute classic. I wish you could have caught it on camera. Gosh, what was she thinking? Maybe she wants to build a robot arm one day because she's too ugly to get a real boyfriend. What? An arm? Back to my room. I wasn't telling them anything about the college. The next day, I gave the principal the permission slip I'd signed myself and left for the college tour. I had an amazing time touring the campus. Later in the cafeteria, I bumped into someone. And when I turned- Oh, the cl- I <laughs> You literally cannot have my animated story without bumping into a hottie. A hubba hubba mega hottie. What's his name gonna be? It's gonna be something really generic. Give me some generic names. Chad? No. Ben? Maybe. Matt? Tom? You gotta think a little bit more. Even more generic. James or Jason? I could see it being one of them. Mm, not James. Maybe Jason. Apologize. I saw the cutest boy smiling down at me. Hey, let me help you with that. I'm Luke, by the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Luke. Yeah, obviously it's Luke. Luke was really sweet and we struck up a conversation immediately over lunch. I didn't even notice how quickly the time had passed. When I was leaving, he said, I know we just met, but I'd love to keep in touch. It's hard to find people you can talk to easily. I knew exactly what that felt like. I was on cloud nine, but I fell back pretty hard on earth as soon as I got to school, waiting at the gate. <sighs> Oh, Luke. Oh, save me from my horrible, horrible family. And my parents and they looked livid. You forged my signature? Dad, let me explain. Where were you all day? I've been offered a full scholarship at an amazing college. College? What kind of college would want a stupid college? girl? College? Yeah? <laughs> Sir, your daughter is very smart, and you can visit the college. I'll be doing nothing of the sort. That me? College? <laughs> now for... <laughs> I don't want my daughter to have a, a job? An education? That doesn't sound like something that would happen in our family. Because she's not going. And I want you to stop telling her she's better than the rest of us, or I'll sue you. As furious as I was... I knew there was no point in arguing with these guys. I would just have to wait a couple of years to get out of here. They couldn't take everything away from me. I mean, you know, let's take a minute to, to talk this through. Me, I thought. I called up Luke and we started seeing each other. As we grew closer, I opened up to him about my crazy family. 
and how my achievements bother them. That's really unfair. I bet you Luke was super reasonable. Luke's Luke's gonna be a, a great supportive man for you. He's just gonna be there for he's not he's not gonna do anything wrong. He would never. Not my Luke. I have a college scholarship waiting for you. Don't let their insecurities hold you back, Vic. His words made me realize that I didn't need to feel bad for being smart or having big dreams. Luke helped me set up a tutoring gig on the side and I started making money a couple of months later. Jeez. Oh no, wait, where was she from? She was, I don't know, I don't know how much that is. Here, he asked me to move out and come live with him. And I said, yes, we decided to break the news to them. Look, she's in high school. Oh yeah. Wait, how old is she? Together. To my surprise, they looked rather pleased to see Luke. Oh, wow. I was pretty sure by now she was gay. Yeah, she thinks she's so smart she doesn't even need a man. Luke immediately took my hand. She's amazing. She's the best person ever. And if you can't say that, you guys are silly. I'm taking her now and we're running away. I never want to see your silly faces again. Grr. That's what he's going to say. Doesn't need a man, sir. I'm lucky that someone as smart and lovely as her chose me. I just wanted to tell you all that I'm moving out and I'm going to college next week. I'm moving away with Luke. I've known him for a good little while now and he's kind and he's nice and he's supportive. So stuff you guys. I'm living with Luke. At first they looked shocked. Then dad started laughing. Oh, now I get why she's with you. You do need a man to pay the bills. I'm on full scholarship, dad, and I have plenty of savings. Oh, is that so? Well, I'm pretty sure you'll come crying back soon enough. Hey, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not going to live with him anymore. It's just like, geez, he's clearly not that great. So just, I feel like at this point, you'd be like, ah, I hate what you're saying right now, but at least it's the last time I have to listen to it. And it's not even true, so... Just whatever. Just say it. Always thought you were something special, but you're not. And you never will be. Maybe you're right, Dad. Maybe I'm not special, but I'm smart and hardworking and I love to learn. And now that I won't have you putting me down, I can be anything I want. And with that, I walked out with Luke. I was going to put my family behind me for good. On the first day of college, when someone came and sat next to me- Oh, it's another one. It's another one. Give me some other generic names. We need another generic name. We need the love interest from college. David. Oh, David might be on point. Daniel. Could be. Derek. Oh. Oh, I feel like it could be a Derek. In class, I looked up and nearly fell off my seat. Oh, it's Mark. It's just Mark. What are you doing here? Oh, I go to this college now. Dad pulled some strings to get me in here. I think if we're counting, I think we need a Matthew. Just seeing Mark every day was ruining my college experience, but I knew I didn't have to worry about it for too long. He was nowhere near smart enough to keep up with college studies. And Joke's on you. You've actually just been pretty just as mean to him as he has been to you. And you don't actually realize that he's actually pretty dang smart as well. Maybe. Could be. That, that could be a twist. After flunking for two semesters straight, he finally left. I graduated <laughs> college with honors, and on the same day, Luke proposed to me. Oh, dang! Luke popped the question! Later to invite my family to the wedding. Oh, did you say the date is May 15th? Yeah, we're busy that day. We don't like your you and your wedding, so... Stop it. Oh, sorry, no. We can't make it. Marky is getting married on the same day. What? To whom? Oh, I don't know yet, but we'll be very busy. So good luck with your wedding. I couldn't believe she just decided to have Mark's wedding on the same day as- Well, she didn't. It was clearly a lie. I, but I'm gonna break this to you. It was a lie. She didn't even know who he was getting married to. I can't believe he fell for that. The moment I told her the news, mom is horrible. My wedding day was the happiest day of my life. And it was probably because my family wasn't there. A week later, I had a job interview at my dream company. And I was really nervous. As I paced the hallway, I was shocked to see Dad come out of the office. What are you doing here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I just stopped by to tell him, don't employ my daughter. Listen, you're going to have to brace yourself for this one. But, uh, she's got an education. So you might want to, you might want to stay away from her. We certainly have. Same as you. I'm here for the job interview, but you're not an engineer. So what? I'm a good actor. Just then the door opened again and I was called in for my turn. As I walked in, dad yelled behind me. I raised her and I can tell you, she's not very smart. She won't be any good for this job. And she went to college. College? Huh? Yeah, that's what I said. Everyone in the room looked rather shocked. I felt so humiliated. 
but I managed to collect myself and I aced the interview. Yeah, so here's my resume and the last, you'll notice the last little dot point there. Dad, no <clears> good. <throat> Don't listen to him. I'm actually pretty good. Immediately offered the job. A year later, we welcomed a beautiful baby girl. Oh, oh girl. I was going to say, is it me? Girl, girl name. Matilda, I'm, I, let's just, like, I'm going out there and I'm saying her name is going to be Matilda. Maddie, and we decided- Oh, Maddie. Maddie, okay, Maddie's pretty close. Decided ...that we needed a bigger place. We started going to open houses and I fell in love with a beautiful Victorian cottage. When we approached the realtor, she said, Oh, don't get too attached to this place. Another family's already made an offer on it. Oh, of course they have. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> At this point, you just need to move away. I turned around to see that it was my family she was pointing to. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'll match any <laughs> offer they make. And I'll personally talk to the homeowner about how much it would mean for us to live here. After speaking with the owner, I made an offer. As expected, my parents went up even higher. I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I see you've got an offer for 500,000 euros. I'll raise you one. Uh, for how much? One. I'll raise you one. All right, sold. It's yours. <laughs> want to get into a bidding war, and I let them have it. Luke and I walked by the house a day after they'd moved in. The minute the trio spotted us, they all came running out. Guys, come in. Why are you walking past the house? Why are you, why are you, why are you hanging around? The, like, what? Don't you want to see our lovely new home? Thanks, Dad, but I'd rather not. Not after the stories I've heard about it. What do you mean? Oh, I spoke with the owner, and she told me that 10 years ago, a tenant mysteriously died in this house, and nobody stays here too long ever since, because strange things keep happening. That's why she decided to finally sell it. Such an honest old lady. And with that, we walked away. My family was truly terrified of one thing. It was ghosts. Luke and I found another- Oh, okay. But that's a, that's a nice little convenient plot point that we just got there. <laughs> her lovely home as far away from them as possible. And we're raising Maddie there to do anything she wants. From playing in the dirt to making dollhouses. And nothing would make me happier if she's smarter than me. But she's not. And she just wants to do a trade. And you're like, a trade? My daughter? Never. You need to go to college. But I don't want to. I just want to go be a carpenter. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I really, it, it, I, I really like building dollhouses. And I've, you know, from a very young age, it's just been like what I want to do. No, not my daughter. <laughs> I'm kidding. It ended very well. It happened, ended perfectly well. And everybody lived happily ever after, except for the family, because they're miserable sods. And they are bad people. Uh, follow me on Twitch. We film these live. Bye.